welcome back student so in this video now we are going to see a very small program and we should also see that what kind of variables we have used over here and this is a program where we are going to you know find out the sum of two numbers okay so let's start so first line is but of course your hash include iostream.h it is a header file which is used for your input output uh, files we need to include so this is a very important line okay and then comes your hash include conio.h conio.h is used to include the console files which are your clr scr then get ch so all those files are to be used in your program so for that we need to include the header, header file first for it now next is your void main now void main is very important children why because this is the very place from where the compilation of your program will start so this is again is very important and then is your curly braces this marks the beginning of your this c++ or i would say that this marks the beginning of your main block okay this is the block of main so this is the beginning of it now c l r s c r okay and as i have told you that all the lines inside the main block are going to be terminated or are going to be end with this semicolon so this is very important and now clr scr as we have discussed this that this function is used to clear the stream okay children like for say whatever outputs we have generated all those outputs will remain in the screen so we will not be able to judge that which is the fresh output so for that before every time we are going to print it on the screen we are going to clear the screen okay and this we have seen also in our previous videos that how it does work okay and next is your int children int is your data type okay int is your data type which we use when we want our variables to hold the integer values to hold the integer number so now whatever variables i'm going to use in this program i want the these uh, variables to hold the integer values only so that is why the data type that i have used over here is int fine now next is my variable name that is single a okay you can write your name you can write computer over here you can write you know anything as per the naming conventions as per the variable rules naming a convention that we have just discussed in our previous video that what were the rules so following up that you can use any so if i want to use a1 i can use it but if i use it 1a no i cannot use it because it's starting with a digit so it's an error i cannot use it i can use it this way a i can use it my then underscore vl val this is also uh, this will also work so all these things can work now simply i'm just going to use it over a single a and the value that i have given to a is 5 a equals to 5 and then i put a comma okay children this is again very important that you have to put a comma in between because now i'm going to declare a second variable okay since this program is to you know to to find the sum of two numbers so for that we need but of course three variables because i want a first location to hold your first number second location to hold your second number and third location which will hold the sum of the two numbers okay children so for that three variables are needed so now the second variable that i'm using is b okay and b is equals to 6 the value that i have given to b is 6 and then comma and then the third variable is c okay this is the very variable which is going to hold the sum of the two sum of the two which means a and b sum of the two now equals to 0 i have given as of now to it 0 okay children because as of now there is no value so i have given it to 0 and then i have put a semicolon because this is the end of line see children if you are putting comma in between so again and again you are not going to use int because it says that all the variables that are declared okay with the use of comma in between are under the type of integer data type only so you need not to declare again and again int a int b like that okay so this is one way that is another way so as of now you just consider this one way fine now you come to this line now i'm going to find out the sum for it now i've written c equals to and after this i have written a equals to b now some will think that why mahama has not written 5 plus 6 because a is equals to 5 and b equals to 6 see children 5 is stored in a 
the value 5 is stored in A and same goes with B. The value 6 is stored in B. So now I'm not going to use these values directly. Okay, now I'm going to use it with their variable names. See, this concept needs to be very much clear children that whenever you're going to use the values, you're going to use them with their variable names. Okay, this is very important. So I have used over here is A plus B where A is equals to 5 and B is equals to 6. So this is but obvious that the sum will be 5 plus 6 and you know the result which is, you can pause the video and think, but I know you, you are very smart. So it is 11. And now the semicolon after it. But of course every, every line, uh, line ends with a semicolon. Now we have C out. This is the object which is used to print these statements on the screen. So after the these cascading brackets are again very important when you are using C out object you have to use these cascading brackets then inside this double quote since i want a statement to be printed so i have written sum of two numbers is and then i have you know close this double quotes and then again i have used this cascading brackets and then i have put endl over here endl e n d l why because i want the result to be printed in the next line okay children now, when this is done, again, semicolon is here. And then in the next line, I have written C out, cascading bracket, C. Why C? Because C is the variable which holds the output. Okay? So, that is why I have used over here as C. And then semicolon. And then last is your get ch, which is used to hold the screen till you enter a character. So, this is again is very important. And then curly braces which marks the end of your main block okay so this is a very simple program children and uh, in the next video we shall see the output of this program